Hey my little rainbows and welcome back to another custom content lookbook video. In today's video I will be showing you guys all of my favorite custom content for each of my royal families, all seven of my royal families. If you're new to my channel I have a royal family series with seven different royal families and they all have their different culture and different styles. So the first one that you're seeing right here is my Windenburg royal family which is based off of the British royal family. I of course am a limited with custom content because there's not always a good amount of diverse custom content out there so you might see some of the royal families kind of use the same style so it's a made-up world and they're made-up families I like to allow room for creativity and flexibility and the fact that it's a sims game so there's only so much I can do so you guys might see a mix of things for some of the families but for the most part they have their own style so as you guys can see here so this is Queen Evangeline and the crown that I have used. Most of the crowns that I'm showing you guys in this is from Bats from Westeros. Actually, a lot of the custom content is from Bats from Westeros, including the, her, like, her jewelry and her sash and everything. So they just have, oh gosh, amazing custom content. And he just came out with a whole new set of crowns and jewelry, and it's amazing. It's so gorgeous. So you guys definitely have to make sure you check that out. At the end of this video, I'm going to be having each outfit numbered, and then in the description of the video, you guys can look for the number that you like and then I will have links to the custom content in that outfit that I'm showing you. So it should be pretty straightforward. I also did try to stick with showing you guys custom content that was either Sims file share or I think media file or media share. Just basically like easy things to download because I usually use MS Sims for some of my crowns as well but I didn't actually include any of their stuff because you actually have to be a patron on their Patreon to avoid like ads and all this other stuff when you're trying to download things. So I just stuck to easy custom content. And then if there is anything difficult, I'll put some instructions next to their link in the description below because you guys will see later, but I do have a Chinese inspired kingdom and their custom content for some of it. It's a little bit difficult. So when we get there, I'll, I'll explain that. This right here is my Willow Creek Royal family. So they are based off a little bit more French inspired. It's kind of hard to find French inspired clothing though, unless it's like super historical, but with the king's outfit and with the prince's outfit that you guys saw, I feel like it worked very well. Again, it's like loosely based off of these different cultures. So I kind of just do what I can work with, but especially this dress and like her crown and everything that she's wearing. This is Queen Corinne. Oh my God, it's beautiful. And also each of my royal families or most of my royal families, they have their own colors, like royal family colors. So for Windenburg, theirs was purple and pink. And then for Willow Creek, theirs is blue. And there's just like so much blue content, which is great. So I have like so many outfits to choose from, especially for Willow Creek. Again, these are only my favorite outfits for each of the kingdoms. So I'm not, I'm only showing you like maybe three to five or so outfits for each royal family. So these are just like my favorite favorite ones. And then this right here is the royal family of Oasis Springs. So this is Princess Arya. She's the heir. She's going to be queen one day. So for them, they are, okay, so their family, when I first started, because they are like seven generations in, but Oasis Springs is based off of Indian culture. And I mean, like gradually they started marrying people who were not Indian and who were more Caucasian. So they're a very mixed family now, but I still try to keep their culture alive. And there is actually a a ton of Indian inspired custom content out there and especially this dress too. It's beautiful and so is this one too. It's so pretty. I use this one especially for like their hot weather outfit but it's gorgeous. There's just like so much embroidery on it that makes it so beautiful and then with the hair too. I oh gosh I can't remember this hair. Might I might have had to be a patron to download this hair and I apologize but like for the Oasis Springs royal family and also for my Glimmerbrook royal family most of the women I have wearing more like in longer hairstyles. And this right here is Lord Gabriel. So I'm using him to model my Indian inspired clothing for the males. And these are also all for like young adults, adults and elders. So I don't have any of the kids ones yet, but I do have a Royal custom content video and I will link that in the description below. That was my very first one with like, I don't know, like 80 something different custom content items. And I had some children's custom content in there as well for Royals. So this is also like, it's hard to find things that are from these different 
cultures, but also works for royals. And I mean, this right here is my Brindleton Bay royal family. So they are not really based off of a specific culture because it was like newly founded. And the king of this, King Jared, he was from Oasis Springs and then his wife is Hispanic. So it's kind of like a mesh of all these different kind of cultures in Brindleton Bay, but their royal family colors are red. So I do have a lot of the red custom content. You guys saw I was using some of the British custom content and then some other stuff as well. So that is the Brindleton Bay royal family. But I love, I just love red so much and I think it looks so good on them too. So I picked a lot of different outfits that I thought looked really, really nice for this. You guys might have actually, like some of this you guys might be familiar with if you watch my royal family series, but some of it might be new to you guys too. So I did try to include a lot of new things that were still my favorite custom content, mostly because for the royal custom content video that I posted a while ago, I did have like a lot in there. So I tried not to repeat any of the outfits. And then this right here is our royal family of Sulani. So they are based off of Polynesian culture. For the guys, I actually mostly use the outfits from the ones that came with the Island Living Pack. So I did find a few Hawaiian shirts, but I don't use these too often, but I wanted to give you guys like a little bit of variety. Uh, but I really like the outfits that I did choose for Sulani that I included in this video. I don't have them wear them too often because it's more like touristy Hawaiian to me, but I think it can still work for Sulani and I feel like it works a little bit more because they're more of a casual kingdom. So I think you guys would enjoy those custom content items as well. Then this right here is the royal family of Selva Dorada. So they are a mix between like African and then also like steampunk and Egyptian. So I just, again, had to do what I could work with, but I love their outfits so, so much. And they just, I mean, Salvador is beautiful. I have a mod that allows a destination world to be a livable world. So I will actually link that in the description below as well, in case you're wondering. I'm so glad that I was able to turn that world into a livable world, because it's beautiful. And then this right here, this is our last kingdom. So this is the royal family of Guanxi or of Glimmerbrook. So Guanxi means Glimmerbrook in Mandarin. So this is Empress Mei Lin and oh my God, this, oh gosh, her dress is so pretty. And I recently actually found that headdress. So that is a new thing that you guys probably haven't seen yet, but I kind of want Araminta to wear that when she becomes the emperor. But for this custom content, I will put instructions in the description below because the site is in Chinese, but my computer automatically translates it for me. So I'm assuming other computers will do that for you guys too. But basically if you just scroll to the bottom of the original post before the comments, then there's links to download the custom content and they are RAR files, R-A-R files. So I have this thing I downloaded called 7-Zip and that allows me to extract RAR files and turn them into like the package files and the script files that you can download. So I recommend downloading that because I think it's one that really works. It's easy to download from there. I know I was like very, like I wouldn't even download any RAR file custom content at first because I had no idea what to do, but I just looked that up and it's very easy. So I'll put that information in the description below as well. But we are now showing you guys the outfits. So again, they're all numbered and you can find the links to them in the description below. If this was helpful and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications if you have not already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.